and welcome to your gold market update for today the 1st of march 2023 mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today overnight of course the u.s markets gave up early gains again to finish in negative territory there were signs of that yesterday even though we did see some positivity in any move to the upside is sold into fairly quickly we saw bond yields edged higher again and this possibly spooked markets out a little bit which aren't in a very happy place at all for right now us futures have followed through on that weaker performance in early asian trading all trading to the downside the asian indices are following that us lead the asx is down 0.6 of a percent but there is some important data coming out European equity futures are also pointed to a cautious open and the VIX is above that key 20 level. US dollar rose again on the back of those bond yields. Despite this, of course, we saw gold move higher, suggesting that technical support is in for now at around 1800. Copper also did similar, edging higher again and continued its move up over that key $4 level, which it tested a few days ago and oil continues in a range so not a bad session for commodities despite that usd strength not so good for bitcoin though we saw it breach the 200 ema support be interesting to see if there's further selling as a result of that and of course we've got earnings season continuing on the asx we've got australian gdp number and global pmi data all due so we've got numbers coming out of australia europe the uk and of course the us tonight also, part of the mix, particularly relevant to the euro, of course, is that German inflation number is out this afternoon. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. And we're looking at the GB pound yen. You can see there we tested this key level at around about 165.45 after what's been a very positive move up, a rejection of that level and a pullback towards the back end of the session. As you can see there, quite a significant drop. We have found a temporary bottom at around about 163.57 and look as though we are slightly higher in asian trading so far key level on this to keep an eye on possibly would be around about that 164.40 level if it breached that we could see it move back up towards that 165 pretty quickly one would suspect but equally so if we breach 163.57 to the downside that could precipitate some selling. So in a little bit of a crossroads for the GB pound yen, and it'd be interesting to see how that plays out in the next few hours. On the ASX, we're looking at Brambles Limited, and you can see this big jump we had post earnings, and subsequently, of course, we retraced. Now we're heading back up towards the close of that post earnings candle there at around about 1297. So we like this. $13 being the key level. You can see it was last here in the back end of 2019. So a potential move up to possibly around about 1350 in the medium term looks as though it's on the cards. Uh, for a stock like this, that wouldn't be a bad return. And of course, there is the potential for it to go higher from here. So around about 1350 is our short term price target, but wouldn't be surprised to see it push ever higher from there. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.